But looking at the Sunni, focusing in on the Sunni traditions, if we look at Sahih al-Bukhari, for example, and you look at his dates, he was writing between 850 and he died in 870 AD. He was compiling all these stories in histories. But think about that. If Muhammad died in 632 AD and uh, Sahih B uh, Bukhari dies in 870 AD, that's, over, that's 250 years later. If you contrast that with what we have from the New Testament and the Gospels, and we try and access who the historical Jesus is in that sense, the Matthew, Mark, and Luke fit very well within that first century context. We have manuscripts from Matthew 26. It's called the Modlin Manuscript, as we've gone before. Josh McDowell will talk about these. Jay Smith will talk about the evidence uh, and the biblical authority we have uh, in their classes as well. But these can all be dated back to 68 AD, 80, 68 AD which is 30 years uh, beyond Christ's death. What is amazing is that Jesus lived 600 years before Muhammad, and yet we have eyewitness testimony of his life within 30 years. In Paul's letter to the Corinthians, he quotes a hymn in chapter 15, about 500 who actually witnessed his resurrection. And this account was written, uh, written Jesus' resurrection. This account was only, was written two years after the event. It would be much more likely that we would have eyewitness testimony about Muhammad's life today, but we don't. We have secondary sources that are all based on traditions that are 250 years after the time of his event, especially the most authoritative ones, the canonical ones that we're talking about. Uh, Bukhari, Muslim, Dawood, Ibn Majah, Al-Nasai, Termini, these ones are all very late into the ninth century.